Well, we're going to go now to the big win in the historic fight to protect abortion rights in Michigan. Just hours ago, Governor Whitmer signed the Reproductive Health Act, making new laws official. And Carolyn Clifford is joining us with a closer look at what this all means, Carolyn. Yes, this is a big deal for a lot of people today. Governor Whitmer's signature sealed the deal on nine bills that not only protect abortion rights, but repealed some of the laws already in place. Going forward, more private insurance companies will have to pay for abortion procedures. Women will no longer be required to receive information from the state about terminating a pregnancy. Physicians no longer have to screen for signs that someone is being coerced into getting an abortion. And a 92-year-old law that makes it a crime to prescribe abortion medication in the first 10 weeks of pregnancy is now off the books. Governor Whitmer was joined by doctors, faith leaders, and abortion activists for today's signing in Livonia. When we engage in this fight, we can win, anywhere and everywhere. So today, thanks to all of you, we won. We are taking a big step forward. Of course, not everyone is celebrating the new laws. The nonprofit Right to Life of Michigan released a long statement saying in part, this is a dark day in Michigan as the governor recklessly signs into law a package of bills that present an immediate danger to the health and safety of women and children, including the unborn in our state. Last November, 57% of people here in Michigan voted in favor of Proposal 3, also known as the Right to Reproductive Freedom Initiative. Meantime, abortion activists say they are still fighting for changes like requiring Medicaid funding for abortions, while anti-abortion groups vow to continue their fight for what they believe is right. Certainly big news today. Brian? Indeed it is, Carolyn. Thank you.